Good morning children. Today we shall learn about measuring of length. Let us see the heights of Aman and Kushi. Aman is taller than Kushi. How tall is Kushi? She is of shoulder height of Aman. Aman stands near the wall and marks his height using a line. He checks how much he has grown in every few months by standing near the wall and making a mark to record his height. All these are our own way to measure length. If someday your uncle tells you go and bring the rope to make a swing on the branches of this tree, he wouldn't say bring rope which is twice my length as the shopkeeper doesn't know his height. Right children? So he would say something like go and get two meters of rope. The shopkeeper knows about meter as it is the unit of length. We express meter with the letter M. For example two meter is written as 2m. In the school we often try to measure length with the help of ruler. How long is that ruler? Look at the markings on the ruler 0 to 15 but it is not 15 meter it is 15 centimeter. So how long is a centimeter? You know one meter is divided into hundred equal parts. So one meter is equal to hundred centimeter. The short form of centimeter is cm. So we write five centimeter as five cm. We use centimeter to measure small lengths like the length of the book etc. You know there is a smaller unit than centimeter too. That is millimeter. And how big is a millimeter? It is very small. One centimeter is equal to ten millimeter. Look in the ruler, one centimeter is divided into ten equal parts. Try and find out your nail's length in millimeters. Now, how long is the river Ganges? It is very long. Its length is measured in kilometers. Can we measure its length in centimeters? No, that would be very difficult. One kilometer is equal to thousand meters. Now the question is how can we measure the length? We can measure the length with the help of a ruler, a measuring tape or a meter rod. Like for example to measure the cloth a tailor uses a measuring tape. A cloth merchant may use a measuring rod to measure the cloth. And the students like you may use ruler. If you want to buy one meter of cloth piece but the shopkeeper doesn't have a measuring rod but only a small ruler which can only measure in inches and centimeters then how will he measure one meter of cloth? At that time, we need to convert a given length from one unit to another. If you want one meter of cloth, then one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So, use the ruler to measure 100 centimeters. Very simple, isn't it? Children often try to measure length of a pencil by hand. If a kid has a long hair, her friend sometimes measure her hair length using her arm's length. During play, children measure distance with a friend using steps. In olden days too, 
people use such methods like the use of foot to measure the length today the standard unit of length is meter but do you know at one time there were no such standard units people measured length using distance between the tip of the thumb and the tip of the little finger of a fully stretched hand this unit is called hand span many kids still use this unit to measure length of the things for fun and it is useful when there is no measuring tape or instrument available in another method people used to take distance between the tip of the middle finger and the elbow and use it as a unit this unit is called cubit not just hands even other body parts like foot was used to measure the length or the distance for example foot span as the name suggests foot span was the length of person's foot and the distance of step was also used which was called a pace that was all for today bye bye children